is Richard Luck with the toss. So as I played uh, six overs, nearly one third of the two hundred twenty overs. Hi friends, this is a short uh, video on why we feel uh, India lost the T Twenty World Cup match against uh, New Zealand played in uh, Gulf. Well, uh, if you look at the reasons, it's uh, same as what happened against uh, Pakistan also. So India never seemed to have uh, learned their uh, lessons. The reason is that again, once again, the main reason is um, Kohli's Richard luck with the toss. So as usual, he lost the toss, and again, the I think the Indian team was uh, crestfallen. So once, as soon as New Zealand chose to bowl first, definitely I felt that the Indian team thought that writing was on the wall. So that is the first uh, thing again. Another next reason I feel is the way the Indian batsmen played. And how the batting order was uh, set up in the during the IPL. What uh, Kohli mentioned was that he was going to open with uh, Rohit Sharma, and that's why he was going to practice uh, opening in uh, RCB band. But ultimately, here in this tournament so far, we have not seen him uh, really keeping that word, and he's been shuffling around. And as usual, instead of Rohit Sharma, we saw that um, Kishan was set center of the order. And uh, as expected, uh, he failed again. When Rohit Sharma came, he was dropped uh, first ball. Lucky to survive that uh, drop, but even then, he couldn't make uh, much out of it. And again, once again, after the power play, it was business as usual for India. And again, everybody struggled, and all were under uh, pressure. And if you look at both Pant and uh, Kohli, they couldn't uh, get going. See, both of them together played uh, six overs, nearly one third of the. So we had 20 overs, scored only 21 odd runs. At least if the score is double the amount, uh, double the amount of runs would have made them reasonable. But again, uh, that didn't uh, happen. So Pant was again under tremendous pressure. I think so he is one player who can really turn the match on its head if uh, given free way. But again, he was he got bogged down and ultimately got out. But the, really, the salt, the rubbing of the salt in the Indian womb was a. Uh, An opponent uh, spinner getting the man of the match award for uh, this T20 is Sodhi. So really, in the Indian batsman unable to play a spinner is it speaks really volumes of the inability to adapt to the conditions. In fact, India went to uh, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, not nearly a month ago. They have been in the Gulf playing the IPL and again expected to continue with the T20. So they are expected to get a master of the conditions, no matter what. Cricket demands uh, as such. So the demands of international cricket are like that. They have to travel in bubble, and again they have to play in T20. So it's not easy. But ultimately, it has not uh, happened for uh, the Indian team. And again, uh, Kohli's uh, obsession to keep out Ashwin at the all cost is really seen. So he achieved that objective because Ashwin also didn't bowl well in the IPL to really earn a place in this uh, tournament. So again, Varun Chakravarty was more. Uh, Focused on restricting number of low offers, but actually, should have been focused on for getting wickets. See, what really intrigues me is that when opponent spinners can get so much of purchase, why are the Indian spinners unable to bowl that well? Even if they are bowling second, even if the due drop due is going to play an important factor, why can't they practice? Practice makes a man perfect. So, the, I I think the homework was not done. So, the uh, main I. And Kohli should definitely step out of captaincy. He is not able to motivate the team. And the difference between New Zealand and India are that New Zealand are playing as a team, and India are not. So you have to remember that just nearly a year ago, in November end of 2020, India played a series in Australia and won the series and came back uh, winning the series second time after the previous game. So this was uh, like a India B. So how they succeeded without Kohli? It was a team of average or above average performers who really helped each other succeed, and the team came up. I think we need such a team for T20. We don't need superstars or people who think that they are above board. If they cannot play, they should quit. It's better we have a team like uh, Namibia or Scotland who is continuously. It doesn't matter. So it's writing on the wall. We don't need superstars who can't do anything. 
So Hardik Pandya was half fit. He couldn't bowl fully. The why the why the hell he is taken in the team? Same in the case of the Jadeja. Jadeja is not really effective in these conditions. So what is the point in having these folks in the team? I think the BCCI will really have to do a lot of answer. But one word of caution to all the Indian players is that please ensure your homes. Please remember what happened to Yamas Dhoni in 2007. The Indian fans can attack you. They can be irate. Indian fans can definitely vent their anger against you. And definitely one more loss against Afghanistan is enough to set the Indian public against the Indian team. So we all should remember 1992, midway of 1992 World Cup, Shastri retired. He was forced to retire by the fans. India are playing in 1992. They played very badly. They went to his house, really uh, put uh, chappal mala on his uh, door. They really heckled him. But of course, they are playing in uh, Australia, but they, he chose to retire in midway. So, so then same player is now coach in uh, Gulf. So you can really imagine the effect. And under Kohli, we are yet to win a major trophy in into overs in last uh, seven or eight years. Definitely, writing is on the wall. I think even if India defeat Afghanistan, I think it's only ifs and buts if India can struggle. I think so. Better coldly resign and give the way to others. Hi friends, please wear your mask at all times. Don't go out unnecessarily. That's the way you can stop the spread of COVID. Thanks for watching. In the video, you like and share and subscribe. Thanks.